Hi everybody and welcome back to yet another Space Engineers video. Once again I'm showing off some applications of guided missiles and the RDAV missile script. Between this video and my last one, Keen released a new update that includes a 1x1x1 small grid merge block. And you can see it right down here. This little merge block finally makes 1x1 profile missiles a reality without having to install a small merge block mod. I have made a little launcher right next to me that can launch 10 of these 1x1 profile missiles. This particular launcher is designed to function only in space. It's powered exclusively by battery and solar energy, making it super easy to handle in survival. Just like my previous missile launchers, this blueprint does require the Oakum mod. The workshop link for both the launcher and RDAS missile script, along with the Oakum mod, are in the description below. So here's a little replay I put together showing two of these ambushing a capital ship. The combined ordnance of both launchers amounts to 20 missiles, which should be enough to overwhelm the capital ship's defenses and successfully breach the hull. The capital ship shown here is about 3.5 million mass and has been used in one of my previous videos. It's an overall standard ship that has served me well as a testing target. And soon the turrets are going to start opening up on them, like right here. And here they are getting through the hole. That would have killed the astronaut right there. You can see it just going to fighter complement right in front of this astronaut. And as you can see, it breached right through the hangar. Unfortunately, the salvo didn't hit any larger systems, but that is purely due to chance. It did, however, completely decimate the fighter complement of this ship. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to show is how this thing can be used to defend your ore deposits. So in order to actually have this thing defend your ore deposits, you have to assume that you can't be there all the time to defend it. So you can set it up to automatically defend it while you're away. So to do that, go to your programmable block, go to edit, and scroll down to this boolean value that says auto launch, and set that to true. Save the changes. All right, so this thing is now gonna shoot down any hostile target that gets near it. So I'm gonna set it for purposes of a demonstration, the space pirates. Here's an auto miner. Okay, so I got the miner. Now I'm going to fly into the missile launcher's airspace. Now that I'm within three and a half clicks, I should be getting blazed. Here we go. This laser designator is armed. So, now there's a problem. He's probably got all his missiles off already, heading right for me. I should see him in a second. I see a few. There's one. Yeah, that's completely gone. Alright, so the final thing I want to demonstrate is the Butterfly Launcher Siege capability. So this right here is a station that I found from the workshop. It's an IMDC station from way back in like 2016. So it's a pretty generic small station and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot at it with just one launcher and try and do a lot of damage to it. Alright, so right now we're targeting one of the wings. So I'm gonna fire about five missiles. That's half our load. Looks like we hit the station right there. So I'm gonna fire some more missiles. That was the other bit of our load. There we go. It looks like we scored a direct hit. Also note that we are completely outside of the station's defenses and can very easily just fly away, rearm, and come back. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I provided all the workshop links in the description below. And also I want to thank everybody for helping this channel get past 50 subs. We're on our way to 100, and I just want to let you all know that I'm really grateful for you all helping this channel grow. And I look forward to making more content like this.